What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are finally discussing, it was finally revealed to us, we're finally getting the WWE crowdfunding project from Mattel for 2023, man. Lots of stuff to discuss here today, man. Lots of people on the fence about it. We're going to discuss all of it here today, man. I am ready to go. I really don't have anything else to say. Let's go ahead and talk about it, man. Here it is, man. The WWE Ultimate Edition WCW Monday Nitro entrance stage, man. Got a lot to discuss about this. We're going to digest all of it. I'm going to break down every single thought that I have about this thing. You know, I'm going to break it down like the process of it the backers, the tiers, when it goes up for pre-order. I mean, I'll tell you that right now. Pre-orders for this open on Wednesday, March 29th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central, and 12 Eastern on Wednesday. This Wednesday, March 29th, on MattelCreations.com. Unfortunately, don't have a promo code over there just yet. Maybe one day, Brad. But we are going to discuss this stage, man. Lots to unpack. A lot of things going on. But let's just go ahead and dive in, man. This stage is incredible. Now, I, I have a lot to unpack about the stage, but just straight up facts this stage is crazy man what a crazy stage and the little vignette i'm going to be playing is a video that mattel posted about it to kind of digest and kind of showcase everything in a video presentation very very cool piece i think that the stage again looks amazing ever since the first time we saw it you know i think it's a beautiful piece it's it's incredibly intrinsic it look it just looks crazy it, like this thing is going to be absolutely insane you already know that everybody under the under the moon is going to be using this as their figure stages and their pick feds and things like that once they get it in hand but of course we have to back it we have to back it in order to reach that but we're going to get into all those things man so let's go ahead and talk about it so really let's go ahead and break down the information that we have right here and then we will uh get into some of my thoughts here so right here it says relive the monday night wars of the 1990s with this epic crowd fund this collector scale entrance stage features a modular stage platform with authentic weathering deco for added realism it also has special lighting effects textured wcw entrance logos and two premium fabric wcw monday nitro banners get hyped fund the play set unlock the tears and recreate your favorite classic monday nitro moments then it has these bullet points right here it says wwe ultimate edition wcw monday nitro entrance stage 20 and a half inches in height and 40 inches wide 20 inches deep and 31 inches deep if you include the ramp man i want you to know how damn big that is okay 40 inches wide is massive okay i don't think you're really taking into account how big that is okay my son is 37 inches tall so this crowdfund stage is as wide as my son is tall, and he's three years old. Also, it's longer than my coffee table in my living room, okay? This thing is massive. It is massive. It's the width of my coffee table plus some. So when you're talking about $400, yes, it's $400. I didn't say that just yet. It's $400. We're looking at $400 for this stage, and we're going to get into the figures that it includes and things of that nature, but I just want to get across how big this thing is, man. It is massive. It says, authentically scaled to all WWE Elite and Ultimate Edition figures, entrance tonal lit by over 100 LEDs with six pre-programmed animated sequences controlled by remote. That is very awesome i love the remote idea you know the different programs i think that's sick as hell four sets of adjustable can lights for different lighting angles which is also badass entrance tunnel features two authentic monday nitro signs two premium fabric wcw Mon monday nitro banners authentically scaled and textured wcw letter blocks realistic metallic colored grading on the stage and ramp removable and repositional entrance ramp all bonus figures feature 30 points of articulation additional hands heads and entrance gear premium packaging theme to WCW and the Monday Night Wars era only available through this crowdfund. Then, if you go on to see, if you go below that, it does say this iconic collection is a love letter to fans of the classic Monday Night Wars, so join today and be a part of Monday Night History. Don't forget to share the crowdfund with your fellow WWE fanatics and help bring the WCW Monday Nitro entrance stage to life. So, here is where they break down the tiers, and I want to get into this and just kind of break down all of this different stuff. I'm going to go figure by figure. I'll show you the images. I'll give you my thoughts on each figure, and we'll break down all the tiers here. So at the top, it says, at 5,000 backers, you unlock the entrance stage with an Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio figure. Once this thing reaches 5,000, you get the stage with a bonus Rey Mysterio figure. So I think it has it has to hit the 5,000 mark to even be made, period. So if this thing got, I know it won't, it'll be higher than 400, but let's just say I got 400 backers. It wouldn't fund. You would not receive it, right? So like you have to hit the 5,000 mark just to get the stage with a Rey Mysterio. So at base price, you're looking at $400 for the stage and an Ultimate Edition 
mentioned Rey Mysterio. Now, this Rey Mysterio figure, I think, uh, like, obviously these figures that are shown off are hand-painted prototypes. At least uh, that's what I'm looking at. That's what it looks like to me. We're getting hand-painted prototypes here. And the Rey Mysterio, while I like the pink gear, without the entrance gear, this figure is very, very bland. But it could be, again, you're not getting, like, true effects or anything like that. It is hand-painted and stuff like that. But And it doesn't have all the accessories and things like that. But it does look pretty bland to me. Like, this is a pretty bland-looking figure. It does look like it's going to... That's probably the the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition torso as well that's coming on this without any Rey Mysterio tattoos on it. Next up, it says at 7,000 backers, everyone receives an Ultimate Edition DDP figure along with their entrance stage and Rey Mysterio figure. So we get 2,000 more backers. We include a DDP. Now, I got some issues with this DDP. Everybody's saying this DDP looks badass. Okay, as an Ultimate Edition, the head sculpts look incredible. Whoever painted these did a fantastic job. This head sculpt on this DDP looks immaculate, but I do not like that they're giving us this gear for DDP again, man. Why are we getting this DDP again? We have seen this in the Legends line. We've seen this in Elite Series 36. We've seen this in the Greatest Hits wave that's coming around the corner. I'm pretty sure it says DDP in there, and I'm pretty sure they're going to re-release this figure as an Elite with double-jointed arms and, like, extras. And then you have this Ultimate Edition here, man. Why did they not do Jeans DDP? I don't know why they wouldn't do Jeans DDP here. That's, like, one of the biggest things I see about this DDP. Like, while it looks good, I just don't understand why you wouldn't do the, the the jeans DDP with, like, the rib wrap and things like that. I digress. That is the DDP figure at 7,000 backers. We get into the 9,000 backers here. You get an Ultimate Edition Scott Steiner figure to the entrance stage with the Rey Mysterio and the DDP. So, at 9,000 backers... We will then have three Ultimate Editions, not including the bonus, like the early funding bonus, which we'll get into at the end there. We get 9,000 backers. I mean, I guess I should go ahead and talk about it now. If you fund the crowdfunding project between March 29th and April 7th, everyone that backs it receives an Ultimate Edition Nitro debut Hulk Hogan figure. So if you do fund it between March 29th and April 7th, and it has to reach 5,000 backers by that point. So if it doesn't reach 5,000 backers by April 7th, the Hulk Hogan's thrown out of the window. So that's just something to take into consideration. But at this point, and I, I'll get into that Hulk Hogan figure, man. That Hulk Hogan figure. Well, let's talk about the Scott Steiner first. The Scott Steiner figure is so sick. I think it's one of the figures that people are most looking forward to. First time in the line. It looks great. The biceps look good. The head sculpt looks good. And this kind of, like, look at the biceps on this man. He just looks like a, a beast, man. Everybody's been waiting on a big pop of pump, and now we're getting it. And I think this is just a clear sign that we're obviously going to be getting our Steiner figures very, very soon. But this is one of the best figures in the set and probably the figure in this in this entire thing that I'm most looking forward to is the is the Scott Steiner. I think the figure looks bad A. Not including any of the accessories and the head sculpts and all that. This figure looks cr crazy good. So that is the 9,000 backers. If we get 2,000 more backers at 11,000 backers, we get the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior along with the Rey Mysterio, the DDP, and the Scott Steiner. Now this is I, I, this is Jeans Warrior with the big belt buckle. He's got interchangeable heads here. He's got his boots on one with the jeans. Very unique look. I believe he's going to come with like his duster entrance coat thing. And just another warrior, another Hogan thrown into this thing. I think I'm with a lot of people when I say I think a lot of people wanted to see different characters that we have not seen in Ultimate Edition form in this thing. So I guess we can start off with the Hulk Hogan, man. This Hulk Hogan looks pretty much damn identical to the Amazon exclusive Hulk Hogan and the fan takeover Hulk Hogan is what I'm talking about. Pretty much the exact same figure. I just, oh man, that's just not a good early bird, you know? I think, you know, like maybe an Eric Bischoff or or something of that nature. A Booker T, a Ric Flair maybe. Lots of different guys they could have given us outside of Hogan here because it looks so similar to what we've already seen. And I think that hurts it for a lot of people, man. I know we don't know what the shirts, like we don't have everything included. Like this is the bare bones of the figures. And we're going to see more with entrance gear, heads, hands, all these different things that the figures are going to come with. It's not just the base figures here. So I'm sure when we see everything in its entirety up next to each other, that would probably be better. But this this Hulk Hogan and this Warrior, I don't know. I, I would have much preferred two different characters other than Warrior and Hogan. But this Hogan, I'm just not hyped about whatsoever. I, I just think there were so many different characters they could have done here. And I don't know the reasoning behind it, right? Like, I'm not in the office. I don't know the numbers and what makes them choose which figures... Like maybe 
it was the only way. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know all those background details. I'm just giving my opinion here. But the Warrior, while it's a unique look, I just don't know why that would be the 11,000 backers spot either. You know, I, I, I don't know about all that. But I think the money zone here is not the figures. Like, the figures are not what's great about it, to be honest with you. Like, would I love to see all of these come to fruition? Yes, I want this thing to succeed. I want 20,000 people to back it. But to me, just reaching the 5,000 mark is going to be the money zone. I want to hit Scott Steiner because I'd love to have an ultimate big pop of pump in the collection. I think it would be amazing. But for me, as like I just want to reach 5,000 backers and have this stage be made. The stage is what is most interesting to me. I understand space. I understand all these different things. But I, for one, actually like this better than the new generation arena. I think this is cooler. I think it's more badass. You got a lot more going on with it. It's a lot more customizable. A lot of people were asking where the ring was. I don't want to see a ring, man. Can you imagine another ring? I don't want to see another ring. To be honest with you, I think another ring would have been dumb. I don't know if they're going to... I don't know if anything's going to be added in there. But this is a massive stage, man. This is a massive stage. And I think it's going to be so... Like, you could easily make this into any stage you really want to, you know? And just to have, like, the me how realistic the metal looks. And you got the big WCW block letters. There's just a lot here. And I know it's 400 bucks like if you break it down is five ultimates in this stage worth four hundred dollars and i think even for uk collectors i think it's even more than that i think they're like i don't know if, whether they're including shipping or customs fees and things of that nature included i'm not entirely sure on that but five ultimate editions what do ultimates retail for 32.99 something like that four ultimate editions at 32.99 equals 165 dollars and if you add in taxes you're looking at about 180 bucks or our ultimate's $34.99. The $34.99 is like, it's close to $200. So just, just round it up if you want to to $200 for five ultimate. Then you're paying $200 for the entrance stage. And that's if this thing hits... 11,000 backers. I don't know, man. I feel like that's kind of a steep hill. That's kind of a steep hill, to be honest with you. Like, $200 for the stage, I don't think is that steep. I think that's pretty on par. But when you throw in the fact that you're probably only going to be getting... Let's just say it reaches the threshold of 5,000 and everybody backed it on time for the Hulk Hogan. It's two ultimates and a stage for $400. Woof. I don't know. I feel like looking at this stage... If I were to look at this stage and look how great it is and look at the colors... And how realistic the ramp looks and all that different stuff. I'd probably think this thing was 250 bucks. Just looking at the stage. You might can convince me 300 just because the lights. Like that lighting work and like the steel and the way it looks. And it's going to be massive. Like I said, it's going to be absolutely massive. You might could say, I might could say 300 bucks, But you include that with just one or two ultimates. It's still pretty tough. Now, if this thing is fully backed, I think the $400 is pretty, pretty close to on par. I'd say it's in the ballpark at least. But I don't know. I still think it's going to be a hard ask. I want it to fund. I'm going to do my best. I don't know how many I'm purchasing. I'm definitely, I'm obviously getting one. More than likely going to get two. And I, I think in my brain, it's telling me that I'm probably going to get more than that. I don't know exact numbers on that though because I definitely want one to customize and that's kind of really what I'm really excited about is taking one and kind of playing around with it and kind of making my own stage out of it is really what's intriguing me the most out of it because these figures don't hit me in the soft spot you know what I'm saying that's kind of the big deal with it I think the figures kind of hurt my the figures for this were not what I was expecting which uh, you know it's it's just one guy's opinion I'm just giving my things I still think it's a badass stage I'm still gonna back it and I like some of the figures here but none of these figures hit me right in the heart and are like, you know what, bro, this is a thousand percent. I'm into it. Let's do it all in. Jump off a building for it. Like I said in the beginning when the Monday Night Nitro was teased for it, I said if this included an Ultimate Sting, I would be, oh my god, bro, I'd be so over the moon about it. And I'm still excited for it. I still want to back it. I still am looking forward to it. I'm going to put it in my mind that we're going to get it, and I'm going to do everything I can. And I want this thing so bad, but you threw in a, a Crow Ultimate Sting, I'd have been, there wouldn't have been another doubt about it. So I'm just confused on a lot of it, I guess. I'd like to know some more information here. But I, I, the one thing that I really want people to understand, though, is how big this thing is. If it is actually 40 inches wide, like they say, that is huge. That is massive. Apparently, the Hulk Hogan figure is going to include two new shirts and new head sculpts and new bandanas. But I think it just kind of really comes down to a simple, you know, if the figures aren't for you, I'm buying it for the stage. The figures are just kind of bonus for me at this point. None of these figures are just absolutely must grab. Like, I think if they were tweaked a little bit, they might be. Specifically, like, DDP, you know, had he been in the jeans, 
I would be over the moon about that. Getting that same gear kind of bums me out a little bit. But for me, I'm just paying $400 for the stage. I'm looking at it like that, I think, is where I'm kind of putting it in my brain. Because this stage looks immaculate. This stage looks absolutely incredible, man. Just having a base stage like this is something I've been wanting for a really long time. Just for any reason, you know what I mean? Just take the stage platform and get rid of all the WCW stuff and just use it as a base to customize other things, you know what I mean? I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. But when I'm looking at the material creations website and i'm looking at the screenshot that says crowdfunding and it says 400 bucks and it shows the image of all the things included right there in the little spot and that's not every figure dressed up with all of its accessories you got to think you're going to get multiple interchangeable hands you're going to get some cloth goods multiple heads all those different things it's definitely coming together a whole lot more in my brain but again that's if everything is back and i don't know like the reputation of all crowdfunders but aren't but aren't usually the tiers supposed to be bonus stuff so like you you know you have your base and then whatever's extra would be like, look, you sweeten the deal the more people that come on and they sign up and they buy this thing. So, I don't know. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm most definitely backing it. I'm hyped to get this stage, and I look forward to getting some of these figures in hand, reviewing them, and I hope that we can back it all the way up to the Ultimate Warrior. I hope we do, man. I, I want to, but when you look at the vignette of this thing, it just looks crazy good, bro. It looks so damn good, and when I think about putting a sting up there on that stage and all those different things, the working lights, I don't know, man. I think it's pretty badass, so I am going to back it, but I want to know down below from you. What do you guys think down in the comment section below? Are you backing it? Are you not backing it? Are you playing the waiting game? Are you backing it no matter what? Are you kind of on the fence? I'd love to know all those things down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our Patreon backers over there on Patreon, man. Thank you guys so very much. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member of the MDT YouTube channel, link in the description below. Lots of tiers and bonus perks over there. But yeah, man, lots to unpack with this. Lots to unpack with this. I am looking forward to seeing how the project goes, but I want to know where all of you guys stand, so let me know everything down in the comment section below, man. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed day. I'll see you next time. And back the stage. Back the nitro stage, apparently, is the slogan. Or I don't I don't know what the slogan is. I just made that up. We'll never